Hey everyone, welcome back to Riker Rides. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Thank you for everyone who subscribes, who shares these videos. I really appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed, please, uh, please, please, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Also, check out my website, RikerRides.com for all kinds of awesome stuff for you. But nothing that you see here will be on RikerRides.com. This is just stuff that I bought. I'm not selling it. And I bought it for the sole purpose of for me to test it out, for me to try it out and give my feedback so you don't have to. And as many of you know, I'm a huge, huge advocate for safety gear. And I've done videos on helmets. I've done video, a lot of videos on jackets and the difference of the types of armor you get in your jackets and in, in your clothing, why it's important. So check out my other videos on that. But today's video is strictly on riding gear to protect from here down, specifically your jeans, your, your legs, protect those. So let's just dive into it. Um, I have my favorites um, and I'll show them with you and the pluses and minuses of each one. So I didn't go through, obviously, and spend a whole lot of money on buying every single pair that's out there. I bought ones that are, I think, reasonably priced for what they offer. And keep in mind, you know, this is just my personal opinion. I know you guys will have your opinions on it. And I know I'm going to get a lot of comments saying, why would I possibly need this? I'm riding, if, if you're riding a Can-Am and you're asking yourself, why would I need some on three wheels? You know, what could happen? You know, what, why do I need something like this? Trust me when I tell you this, because I've known people that have had issues, had problems or whatever, for whatever reason. But trust me when I tell you, the ground is just as hard coming off of three wheels as it is two wheels. I promise you. So I don't, um, I'm, I'm not trying to preach to you. I'm just trying to show you what's out there and you can make your own decisions. And for not a whole lot of money, you can have that extra safety. So let's just dive into it and I'll show you what I've researched and what I've, I've, I've seen some good prices online. Um, most of these are from Amazon and I'm also reviewing um, Bone Armor or Bon Armor has a couple different riding pants um, as well and I'm gonna review those two. So let's get started. My, um, I'm gonna start with my least favorite. We'll get that out of the way first. So these are, these are kind of typical riding jeans uh, that you'd find online. And they're usually made out of a slightly heavier denim. And they have, um, you know, kind of an elastic waist here. So when you're riding and it gives you that comfort comfortability of the stretch right here when you need it. And usually they have it around the knee as well. So when you're bending your knee, you get that little extra stretch. So these I believe are, I think they're just $59 for these jeans. And so those are the things that I like about it. There's lots of pockets and there's lots of, you know, you can put your cell phone in here and there's buttons and whatever. So. What I don't love about it is it only gives you really decent protection for your knees, which is really, the, I don't wanna say the most important part, I mean, every part is important, but if, tend, if you fall, you kind of tend to land on your knees, so, you know, statistically speaking. That's a, that's a definite hot spot for a fall. So it's always good to have gear in there. So they give you CE level one, which is the lower of the two levels, is level one and level two. So they give you, you know, a pretty decent knee pad um, for these jeans. But what they give you for hip protection, which is another spot you want to really make sure that you're covering, for hip protection, they just give you these really, really flimsy foam ins inserts. Yes, they're better than nothing. Um, but at this point, you know what I mean? There's maybe if you just fell a little bit and just kind of like boop, I mean, that would help, but in, in a major situation, I wouldn't want these for protection. Can you upgrade these? I don't know, I guess so. I guess you can try to find the exact ones and, and cut, cut them out and, and, and get different ones, but this is why I don't like it. For the price point, you're really not really getting anything so major. So this is my least favorite as far as jeans go. And then this is my, these are my favorite. I love these. I love the look of them. Um, I like that kind of wash look. I think they're cool looking. I think they're trendy. And these come with very good armor. And <clears throat> these come with level two armor 
for the knees, and these are only $10 more. So these are $69 versus those were 59. And this is Amazon prices, you know, early 2023. So if you're checking out this sometime in the future and you wanna know why it's $800, that's when this video was made, this was the current price. Normally I don't give prices when I'm doing videos for that reason, but kind of I'm throwing a lot of stuff at you so you kind of know, you know, if this is something you're interested in. So this comes with CE level two armor, which is, it's really great. It's level two, but it also has some flexibility and not walking around like this, you can still bend and it's, it's nice. In addition to that, it's just for ten dollars more. You're getting upgraded armor. And you're also getting level. This is level two as well. Um, armor for your hips. So these have the hip inserts, so your hips are protected with something better than foam. So that's why I love these. And what's also nice about them is the inserts specifically for the knees. They pop right out. They go in and they and they and they come out. So obviously, but they come out very easily. So if you are at an event and you don't want to walk around and, and with the knee pads showing, so to speak, with the bulge in your with in your knees, you just pop them out, throw them in your bike, and you get back on. So they just look like regular jeans when you're walking around. So I really like these. And everything I'm showing you. The company makes a male version of these. These are obviously the female version, but every company, they're either unisex or they have a male version of what I'm showing you. So I like these. I think they're very cool. I think they're very stylish. And here's a little, these are also very easy to take in and out. This is where the hip insert would go. Easy peasy. And I like these a lot for the price. And these are actually a slightly heavier denim than those in terms of weight. Next, we have, what do we have next? All right, next are these. These are what I call my, my sexy riding pants. So if I wanna look really cute when I'm riding, a little bit more like a girl, these are actually unisex, believe it or not, but I'm not really sure if a guy's gonna to wanna to wear these unless he wears them underneath something else, but I'm not judging, you do you, okay? <laughs> but these are really cool. They look like just regular cotton, um, almost like workout pants, like very thin, spandexy kind of, but here's the deal, it's, the material is 60% Kevlar, DuPont Kevlar. So the Kevlar is also Lycra and Coolmax, but the major ingredient is Kevlar. It's not 100% Kevlar, which I kind of, you know, would be interesting if it was. So I'm not sure, like the, the texture of these I don't know if I trust it. It feels like so soft. It just feels like cotton pants. But they say it's DuPont Kevlar, 65%, which the importance of Kevlar is it's a very tough material. So if you do slide um, you know, from some kind of, God forbid, accident, the Kevlar would really protect, it wouldn't rip and it would protect your skin from getting road rash. That's why I love these. As well as the fact that there's a lot of things about these that I like. So they're super cute when they're on. And they have extra protection. Now these are a little bit more money. These are $120, I believe, but they come with, for the, for the extra money, you're getting the DuPont Kevlar, you're getting hip protection, you're getting knee protection as well, and it is all, um, it's a very, it's, this is the same material that, that Bond Armor uses on the inside. It is that very thin, level two rated, um, super lightweight, super flexible. It's like you're not even wearing anything. And this is the, where the hip would go. I wish these were a little bit bigger because I don't know anyone's hip that is this small, but I would like something covering more air. And that's my negative of these. Um, plus, I'm not sure how hot these would be riding. See that they're all black, but I do like them when they come with little stirrups. So they're not gonna ride up or bunch up on you when you're riding. I like these. These are, these are kind of cute. Lastly, I have, and these are my kind of go-to, especially in the summertime. These are from, from Bon Armor. And these, as you can tell, are 100% mesh. So these are going to go under your normal pair of pants, your normal jeans or whatever you ride with. And 
which is cool because you know you can switch out your pants you don't have to wear the same rotting jeans every single time you go out and this has the exact same kind of armor that i just showed you very very flexible and very very thin i love these so this is she gives you extra in here these are these are more expensive these run around the 200 dollars price range but you you get what you pay for, you know, with a lot of things. So this is you're getting, this is their, your coccyx. This is for your tailbone protection. Then it has pretty big, I'll, I'll actually take one out for you. These have a nice size hip protection. So this is going to cover kind of this whole area here. So this is generally a little bit more the size of what your hip protection should be, which I love. And then, I, this is like, it just keeps going and going. It has thigh protection. So if you can see the thigh protection here is, goes from here to here on you. So it really protects this whole area um, from road rash, from falling, from, you know, it, it, it protects your bones. That's what, that's what the arm is for. And then also, she has knee and shin guard. So it's not just a little covering for the knee, it goes all the way down your shin. So when you're wearing it, this is how this is gonna look. And it covers this, your knee on down. And they're super, super comfortable. And it has a zipper closure at the bottom. So make sure they don't ride off and they stay where they're supposed to be. So the only thing I don't like about these is, you know, when they're on, they're on. You know, I guess you can go to the bathroom and take them off or something, but I, I like the flexibility that these have the armor on the outside pocket, so you can take them in and out, whereas these you have to kind of go inside your, your outfit to do it, your, your pants. But I do love these a lot, and this is kind of my go-to when I'm out riding, especially if I know I'm going to be doing a lot of highway riding, this is what I, this is what I go to. Again, you have to wear it under something else because they're mesh. And then she has the exact same version, but in non-mesh with the exact same protectors for this level two and all the areas, as the same as those same price range, about $200. And these are great. The only criticism I would make um, or, or correction I would make is she did this for a reason. She put, um, if you can see, it's a mesh crotch to kind of cool out your, your bits and pieces down there. <laughs> so, and it's good, it's smart. And it's nice, but you can never really wear them independent. You always have to wear them underneath something for that reason. So trust me, I've gone out with these not realizing that it was mesh there. And it, yeah, that wasn't cool. So if you wear these, you're going to want to wear something underneath. So these are good in kind of, you know, cooler weather. If you're riding at nighttime, if you're riding in the wintertime, these are actually nice as well. So that is my overall take on riding gear and i just want everyone to be safe i don't want to hear stories i wish i had you know i wish i had paid attention i wish i had gotten the gear so if you know you're going to be in a situation and you know obviously situations come up that you don't know of but if you know you're going to be riding on the highway a lot you know you're going to be riding in situations where you really want that extra gear which i recommend it being all the time consider one of these options i will post every link down below and i will try to post it in the order that i just reviewed everything so kind of like one two three four five um in the description section below so stay tuned i've got a lot of great stuff coming and i've got a lot of great rallies i'm going to be at this summer and uh, stay tuned pay attention to my instagram page because that's where i'll be posting i post daily usually on instagram of where i'm going to be and what i'm doing so check me out there just write your rides i'll see everyone later have a wonderful day stay safe and be happy bye everyone